Hey everybody, it's Retro Gaming now, and um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Drizzle for Mr. Uru Complete Chronicles. Drizzle is a very powerful tool, and it allows you to do a lot of stuff, and I'll talk about what it can do later. But the big thing that it can do is you can use it for a fly mod. So you can fly around in Uru and finally get that Relto page in the Eater, Eater um, Chemo. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download this Drizzle 30, J Drizzle, and it's a .jar file, and I'll put the link in the description, of course. So you want to download that, and when you download that, just go ahead and open it. So you get this little loading screen here, and then you'll have Drizzle 31, or whatever version you have. So what you first need to do is find your Path of the Shell folder. So I've got that right here. It's going to be Mist Uru Complete Chronicles, or not necessarily Complete Chronicles, but just Path of the Shell at least. So you copy this, this is a way, and paste it here. Also, one thing you're going to want to do is change the URL of server to this, www.the-deep-island.de slash uru-ages. And of course, I'll put this in the description also. You do this. And then once you've got these two here, you click over here where it says ages, get latest list, go ahead and click on that. It's going to work for a second, and then it'll give you what you've got here. So as you can see, I've got two things already installed. So what we've got over here is a bunch of things you can add to it. So the first thing you want to do is go to offline KI right here, where it says required. It won't say, for you it'll be red, but just go over here and click on it and click download. And you see it says the path of the shell says complete chronicles folder you selected doesn't exist. So save settings now, exit drizzle, head on back over here, and you're going to want to do sounddecompress.exe. So go ahead and run this. This will take just a little bit of time. Because basically it's sort of refreshing your sound files and for whatever reason the sound files are necessary for this so it'll take a little bit of time here just gonna go through this looks like it's almost finished hopefully um... should be almost done sorry for the wait Oh, it's got to go through it again. So this is originally used for when you're installing the game. It does this to decompress all the sounds because it saves them to save disk space or download space. And it's got to go through a couple times. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. And when, we, when this is finished, I will come back. Alright, so once you've run sound decompress, go ahead and open Drizzle again. You should see everything should be saved get latest wit list I should do that over here it's got that so then you got this go ahead and click download again and this time it should work so you can see over here it's extracting everything yours will have to download but mine's already downloaded so it's just going to re-extract it so you want to download offline KI and then age information you don't have to download but I would recommend it so this is going to go for a little bit, and when it's finished, I'll go ahead and come back. Alright, so once you've done this, you're going to go ahead and close it and launch Uru. This should work for you, but it doesn't work for me because I've installed on an external drive. So you just go ahead and close that, and then I'll open up Uru. We'll come back to Drizzle in a little bit, because there's some more things I need to show you. But first, we'll show you what, how fly mode works. Alright, so here we are in Mist Uru Complete Chronicles. You can see I got my hat from Kaddish on. And so to activate fly mode, just simply hit slash on your keyboard and type in fly mode. And it will, you'll see at the top it says enable the fly mode. So the way this works is you can hit plus or plus to go down and minus to go up. It's sort of the same as it is on the keyboard. You'll rotate just like this and then you can move around just like this with uh, WASD keys, etc. So if you hold down shift, you will go faster. But you'll notice the camera can't keep up. So oftentimes you'll want to use use um, first person. So you can say I can fly around. Obviously the game is it's a little bit choppy is the issue. But it's great enough for like 
taking pictures. Like, if I go down here, hold shift to go a little faster, we can get certain views of Relto that we would not have been able to see otherwise, like this here. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. There's some really cool commands, which I'll, I'll show to you at some point. So you can see over here, what it does is it adds some things, like you can see some of the stuff you would see in Mist Uru online here because basically what the point of this is to do an offline sort of version of the KI that's on Mr. Uru online but um yeah those are sort of the features so that's fly mode let's just uh and to, oh, to quit it you know slash and then no fly mode and then we're back to normal so let's just let's just link out somewhere like I don't know Caddish to Lisa that's a cool one and you know just show you what it's like in more of an age not that relative's not an age, but all right. So we're here in Caddish slash fly mode. So we're back in fly mode. We can just fly up, so we get a much broader view of what this is. Of course, the thing is, if we go too high, things will disappear because the way the game works is, if you get far enough away from something, it disappears to save memory because this game was made a while ago. So. Certain only there's some level where you can't do this anymore. You can sort of see we can get views, cool views we wouldn't have been able to see anyway. And this is going a little bit slow. It should go faster than yours, but it's going slow because I'm actually rendering a video in the background. So yeah, there's fly mode. This is this is really cool. You can see all the ages in sort of a different way. I, I recommend you only do this once you've beaten the game. But it's it's a ton of fun. speed up. Yeah, it's being slow. You can go through walls and stuff. See all this stuff. Yeah, so you can, yeah, like I said, you can sort of see how the game looks outside of what's really supposed to be there. But So yeah, there you go. That is fly mode. This took me forever to actually find, I will tell you. And so I'm pretty, pretty eager to share and make this video for you. I'm going to go out here, though. This is a cool spot. And of course, you see if you go far enough out, you get to the edge where the sky is. So anyway, there's fly mode. So we're going to go back to drizzle, and I'm going to show you some more things that you can do. All right, so for back in drizzle, there's a couple things you can do. You can see we've got all these extras and stuff over here, and all these ages. So what it is is there have been tons and tons of custom mages that have been made by fans. And so you can just download these ages straight into your, your game. And also there's Relta pages too, so there's some really cool things you can do with this. So just to show it out, we'll pick an age. We'll pick one that's been relatively recent, like 2013 or 2014. There's no real way to tell you, so you just got to go for it randomly. 2010, 2009, 2013, LODIA. So you hit download, and this will show up over here, and download it. When's that? When that's finished, I will be right. All right. So now that that's done, I'm, gonna, I'm now that that's done. I'm going to show you one more thing you can do, which is really cool. If you go over here, you we have this thing where we can convert several things. Whoops. Several different games over to Uru, so we can do Mist Uru, Mist Online, Uru Live, Mist Five, Crow Thistle, Hexile, and Magic Quest. Uh, Mist 5 is the only one of these I actually own, so we're going to find where that is. So it's going to be under GOG. And then Mist 5 End of Ages. So you basically just select your folder. Path to the Shell folder up here, Mist 5 folder over here. And then you hit Start. Mist 5 folder doesn't seem to contain Mist 5. Give me a second, I think I made a mis made a mis make might have made a mistake. Alright, so I had to rename eoa.exe to mist5.exe. And then when I did that, it works. So if we hit the start button, as we just did, it's just going to go through this, start the conversion. And this is going to take a while, so when this is finished, I'll come back once again. Alright, now that's finished, you just got to run sound decompress one more time, and then you can go back to the game. And if sound decompress crashes, you just need to open the game and then 
log in and then close again, and you should be good to go. Alright, so once that's finished, you can just head back into Uru. And go over to your bookshelf. And you'll see there's a couple of new books. So these are both Elogia books, or I forget the name of it, but of the custom mages you've downloaded. So you can actually download custom mages. I'll just link to one of these sort of to show you what it's like. You can download ages that people have created and thus finally fill up your bookshelf. And so there's a lot more replayability. It's essentially like mods to the game. So I'll just show. I've never played this age, but we'll just come in here just to sort of show you. You can see it's like a custom age. So it's cool. Here's the Nexus. And we can go and explore if we want, but we're not going to. Obviously, the lighting looks a little bit messed up, but it's fine. So now I'll show you how to get to the Mist 5 Ages if you installed those. And to get there, you're going to want to have beaten the game. You're going to want to link back to Earth. Just do the normal sunny cleft. So head back over there. All right, and you should only have to do this once, but just head on over towards the volcano. I'm actually, gonna fly up there. Oh, it's fly mode. All right. So basically just climb up to the top of this. You couldn't get here without fly mode, which is sort of the point, as far as I know. So climb up to the top of this mountain, this volcano, and then you're just going to want to jump in. So you'll notice you'll link out and you'll fall through the ground at the same time. And you are going to link back in, and you're going to be in the volcano, but from Mist 5. So you can see it's the Mist 5 landscape. We got the Riven Dagger up here. And if we remember from Mist 5, which I've not done an LP of, we want to climb down this ladder over here. <coughs> So head on over to the ladder. I'm just going to show you the quick way to gain access to all the ages. For some reason, my uh, WSD keys are not working. So obviously the camera's a bit messed up because Mist was not in third person. Mist 5. So you're going to head on through here. What's this? Nothing. Okay, so you can't actually access any of these. These are journals. So head on over this way. And... Let's see, there's a linking book here. Yes, this one. So go over here, and just link over on over to Deribo. And when you do this, this should add it to your Relto. And so if you remember from Derebo, this is where you reach all of the ages. So we got these bubbles that we just loved from the game. If we look around, there's all these four other bubbles. So that is how you get to all of the missed five ages. And they're all in your Uru game, so you can just go explore it well. Now, not all the interactive stuff works, and obviously the stuff with the slate doesn't work either. But you can still teleport around. And of course you can fly now, so there you go, that is how you get custom mages and how you fly. So you'll see we've added a book. This is the Derivo book. And I believe in Earth it adds a well it doesn't. 
I guess yeah, I guess you still have to go up and fly up to get to Earth. Missed five version. Anyway, there you go. It's been Richard Gaming now. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Um, I made it because I've always I spent a long time trying to figure out, especially how to do fly mode, and I could never seem to find anyone who gave me a good, accurate uh, video on it. So, as always, thanks for watching, and um, so rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.